Likewise, this world wouldn't he have been an environment for us to live in six. Without Tao, we, human beings, wouldn't he have been able to walk, to see, to hear, to speak, or to move. Our physical bodies would deteriorate quickly into a pile of soil in a hundred days. 7. If one really comprehends the effects and omnipotence of Tao, and can practice accordingly and persistently, one can communicate with and be united with God. This is the absolute truth. It is a glory and marvel beyond description. Therefore, it not after death that one becomes a Buddha. It is when one is still alive that one achieves being a Buddha. And to be a Buddha is to revive and hold on to one as divine and original nature. This is what we benefit from attaining and practicing Tao. Do what do we need to receive Dao? We have discussed the many benefits we obtain after receiving Tao. Some would wonder why there is so much given to us. Of course, we should realize it comes from God as grace toward human beings. This allows doubt to be spread around the world, especially at the approaching of the worldwide calamity. People with merit and conscientious mind will have the opportunity of learning about Tao and the way back to heaven. It always holds true that people who had the fortune of receiving Tao are derived from the tree of righteous ancestors. In addition, during the passage of Tao, it is required that we make promises to God that, day. after we receive Tao, we will keep in mind the true meaning of Tao and put it into action in our daily life. What we speak and what we do will all be based on our conscience. The after we receive Tao, we offer help to those in need of it, and do our best to indicate Tao to more people so that they can all benefit from the grace of God. C. After we attain the three treasures, we promise not to tell them to any other person. The three treasures can only be transmitted through authorized masters in front of God. If we reveal them to any person, they become invalid to the person, and we also defy the heavenly decree. All the promises required are reasonable and achievable. It goes with our nature. If we practice and keep the promises, we will be able to become a wiser and a better person. We will become merciful and nurture the good seed of doubt planted in our mind. One last thing to mention is that one of the reasons we are able to receive Tao is due to the good deeds of our ancestors. Therefore, as we persistently practice Tao, our ancestors will also benefit from it and so will our descendants. As long as you are prepared for the above mentioned, you are qualified to receive Tao, no matter what nationality, race, or religion you belong to. Notes, in order to be exempted from the reverse cycles, to avoid the ordeal of hell, to alleviate the suffering and misfortunes in our lives and to be able to return back to heaven after death and enjoy permanent happiness, we have to receive Tao. And the general qualifications are, 1. 
to be with a compassionate heart, and to be fortunate enough to be born in a time when Tao is available to the public. 2. To have sowed the seeds of virtue by helping many people and offering lots of charitable services in the previous lives. This is the divine affinity with God. 3. To have ancestors with beneficences and welfare work as well. 4. To meet the introducer and guarantor who indicate the way to attain Tao to me. It is very likely that, in the previous lives, we did charitable services together, or we sell C-U-L-T-I-V-A-T-E-D together in the same religion. So, in this life, when Tao is available, we can help each other out and practice Tao together again. So time is right for Tao due to our divine affinity. D.I. What impact does receiving D.A.O. have on M.E. as we mentioned before, and like the old days when hermits had to leave their families to receive Tao through meditation and self-cultivation, Tao, at the present time, can be received in a way that is applicable and conforming to our practical needs. We don't have to give up our lifestyle in order to attain Tao. By the grace of God, Tao is intended to be delivered to the public at all levels of occupations and around the world rather than being limited to a privileged group of people. The impacts that receiving Tao can have on our daily life are summarized as the following, A receiving Tao creates no conflicts with any religions Tao governs the universe including all human beings. It existed before the formation of any religions. It is concordant with all religions, in the sense that religions preach the awareness of conscience and the pursuit of the truth. We don't need to give up our religion in order to receive Tao. On the contrary, by receiving Tao, we will have further understanding of the truth. The conscience becomes our ultimate guidance due to the variations of cultures, customs, backgrounds, legislation, and value systems. It is difficult to find a universal guideline for all of us to follow in our daily life. In receiving Tao, the main commandment is to act by our conscience the true self, rather than by literature. We should be sensitive to the conscience, rather than be familiar with the laws. C. We will voluntarily keep the promise made while receiving Tao through receiving Tao. We are not offered conscience or true self but merely the opening of the door to a wisdom and mercy. Therefore, we restore the heavenly principles inherent in us, and strengthen the power originating from our conscience. There is no external force that makes us keep the promises and commitments that we made when we received Tao. The only force comes from the guilty feelings that result from our misbehaviors, which reduces the mistakes we make. Deep practicing doubt can accommodate our worldly affairs the fulfillment of practicing doubt and conscientious awareness does not have to be accomplished in a temple or church.
it is not required to abandon worldly belongings or relationships in order to attain the ultimate truth. Each individual can still have his slash her family, career, and schooling at the same time. As long as we keep in mind the basic guideline we should have our practicing Tao and getting closer to our Divine Self. We will make a better world by improving ourselves first after we receive Tao, by realizing the true self and what we are, the feeling of joy comes to us. The improvements on the quality of our spiritual life will affect people surrounding us. By interacting and working together in Tao, we will make the world better with lower crime rate and less pollution. The wish of Maitreya will finally come true to turn the world into God's kingdom and make people all live in harmony. D.I.I. What can attest the validity of D.A.O. Dao, due to its completeness and generality, regulates the totality of all beings. Many people, after receiving Dao, with their wisdom, faith, and devotion, realize that Tao is the fundamental principle that governs all things. They comprehend the truth of the universe not only through literature, but also through daily living and nature. Their faith in Tao becomes strengthened and they move forward in their spiritual life. However, for people who haven't he or just received Tao, Tao can be confirmed through revelations. A anyone who has received Tao with the front door open shall die peacefully. One proof of this is that for those who have received Tao and died, their bodies remain soft and their faces vivid. Since the soul leaves the body through the correct exit, the corpse can actually remain UN corroded for a few days. With the most advanced modern science and technology, it is still difficult to explain this phenomenon. However, it is a fact that cannot be denied. This has happened before in some religions, but very rarely. For people who have received Tao, this kind of testimony is ubiquitous, unless they have committed serious sins and corrupted their own mind. This can prove the soul has reached an ultimate harmony. Be being the superintendent of the things on earth, Human beings are nonetheless weak. Since birth, we are subject to unpredictable accidents and natural disasters. There have been many people who encountered danger, used the three treasures with faith, and got away from the danger or reduced the damage to the minimum. Testimonies of this kind are numerous. The above two mentioned are rarely heard of and difficult to believe, but they are the immediate security given by God once a person has received Tao. Thereafter, with each individual as faith, wisdom, and the accumulation of good deeds, one will come to know the truth more and more. It asks up to you to experience the value of this treasure. I hope you will have the opportunity to receive Tao, experience it in your life, achieve ultimate perfection, and realize eternity. The three T R E A S R U E S of Tao. Three.
宝清法主讲者五进庙翻译者 Mr. Jerome William McCarthy Index。Chapter One. Why are they congratulating me on receiving the Tao? 第一章，为什么他们恭喜我求得天道 ？Chapter Two. What is the Tao? 第二章，什么是道 ？Chapter Three. What are the three treasures? 第三章，何谓三宝 ？Chapter Four. Why do the introducer and the sponsor take an oath at the altar? 第四章，为什么银宝要立愿 ？Chapter Five. Why I should take an oath before receiving the Tao? 第五章，为什么要立求道愿 ？Chapter Six. How to save human beings? 第六章，如何求度众生 ？Chapter One. Why are they congratulating me on receiving the Tao, ladies and gentlemen? I would like to extend my heartiest congratulations to you for this is your most auspicious day. Today you have received the Tao, which is the ultimate aim of existence. All of the Buddhas and saints attained the Tao in the past, and by transcending the limitations of birth and death, have become immortal. That which you have received today is the same Tao. Formerly, one who intended to receive the Tao had to abandon worldly possessions and enjoyments. If he was a king, he had to abandon his kingdom. If he was a high official, he had to resign his high position, leave his family, and go to the remote mountains to seek a master who would transmit the Tao to him. After much suffering, he would gradually perfect his conduct. Purify his mind and heart and perform many good deeds. For his sincerity, God would send Buddha to transmit the Tao to him. Under such conditions, a person able to succeed was hard to find. During that period, the Tao was secretly transmitted from one patriarch to another. 第一章，为什么他们恭喜我求得天道？各位先生、太太、小姐，首先让我衷心的恭喜你们，因为今天是你们大喜的日子。今天你们得了道，道是至宝，道超出了一切。每一位古圣先贤、佛祖，皆于古代求得天道，故他们能超出生死之界限而永存。今天你们所得的道，即同他们其实所得的道一样。在古时，人要得道，必须弃他在世界上所拥有之一切。与享受。假如他是一位皇帝，也必须弃他的江山；假如他是一位大，他必须舍弃他的爵，离开家人，入深山寻访能够指点他途径、传授大道给他的名师。在他经历了千辛万苦之后。同时，已将凡心修炼成佛心，并以达至圆满之行为，以及做了许多善事，在他至诚之下，终于感动上天之心，派仙佛来指点，传授大道给他。在如此之情况下，成功者非常稀少。在那时，道是由一代祖师秘传给下一代祖师。
Today we need not go to the remote mountains in order to cultivate ourselves. We may find the means to do so in our own environment. Therefore we must take full advantage of our fortunate circumstances because we are in close proximity to the Tao. Why is the Tao so accessible to us at this time? It is because mankind is facing great calamities which signal the destruction of the human race. What is the cause of these calamities in this modern age? Most people blindly worship technical science and neglect spiritual harmony. They believe that the power of mankind can surpass nature and that science is almighty and can solve all human problems. It would seem as though conscience or soul are only religious terms and have no real existence. Most people do not recognize their true selves which are indestructible and immortal. Actually, the true self is the master of the mortal body. Today most people have lost their consciences, harming others in order to benefit themselves. Those evils which human beings are now committing will cause great disasters the likes of which had never been witnessed before. This will be the final calamity in which the human race, the immortals of space, and the ghosts in hell will all be destroyed. 然而，现在我们不需要到深山去，而我们亦莫修行。何以我们能如此容易就得到这事？因为时代不同了。现在人类面对劫难之来临，末劫就要来到，末劫将会毁灭全人类。劫难是怎样造成的？原因是在此新世纪，多数的人们共盲目崇拜科学，而不注重心灵的完善。他们相信人类的力量能超出大自然。科学是高于一切，科学是万能，科学能解一切人类之问题。而良心、灵性仅是宗教之名词，它永不能实现。人们不认识真理。真理是我们之良心、道心、真我本体，它不不灭，万古长存。它是主持而我一身之主人翁。如今世上的众生，大多数失去了真正的良心，他们造一切之罪恶，因此造成了空前绝后之浩劫。我们称它为末劫，在此浩劫中，不仅全世界的众生，同时起天的大千、地府的鬼魂都要受劫灭。However, God, of whose essence we are created, is merciful and compassionate and does not desire that the good people be destroyed along with the evil ones. So God has provided that the Tao be disseminated among mankind and has sent the great teachers, Buddha Shikha and Bodhisattva Yui, to rescue the three kinds of beings, the immortals of space. Human beings and the ghosts in hell, so that they may return to heaven together. Buddha Shikha and Bodhisattva Yui are under the command of God and are responsible for transmitting the Tao to the three kinds of beings. Their duty is to manage the work called the Last Salvation.
This salvation is formless and soundless and the transmission is performed without preaching. It directly points out the original nature conscience or soul of mankind in order that people may realize their true nature and thereby become enlightened. 是非常的慈悲一步忍善恶惧本因此降下真道病太明师地公活佛与月会胡萨降世挽救三曹气天之大天世界的众生地府的鬼魂同反天堂我们师尊师母二位老大人奉老母的命令真传真手孤独三曹他们的责任是办理末后一收元大事不利文字教外别传直指人心直指人人不有知良心灵性是人们见自信而成佛 When the last calamity arrives Nothing can save mankind except the true way, which is the Tao sent from God. That is why the Tao is widely propagated today to save good people. Ancient people first cultivated themselves and then received the Tao. But today we receive the Tao first and then cultivate ourselves. Therefore, after we have received the Tao we have to seriously cultivate ourselves. Then we shall automatically be safe from danger. Escape from calamities. Avoid reincarnation and become saints and Buddhas. Tang 除了上帝所降下的唯一之道多劫比难超生了死成圣成佛 Although it is easier for modern people to receive the Tao than it was for past generations, the ability to receive the Tao also depends on each person's condition and background. Today you receive the Tao because you had an affinity with our temple and you and your ancestors have performed many virtuous acts. Possibly you were cultivated in a religion in your previous lives. These conditions allow you to have an affinity for the Tao. Without this affinity you would never receive it. 虽然今人比古人更易得到因此使你们今天有缘得到否则将永不能得到 Chapter 2 What is the Tao ladies and gentlemen? You have received the Tao today, but what did you actually receive? What is the Tao? The Tao is the source of everything. Tao is the creator and master of the universe. Tao is God the supreme power. Before the earth and sky existed, before the creation of the universe, the Tao existed. 
after the universe is annihilated and nothing remains, the Tao will continue to exist and to create and control a new universe. The Tao is limitless, invisible and formless. It cannot be seen, heard, smelled or touched and is beyond the power of human comprehension. Tao activates everything. Yet we cannot see its action. It works without effort, yet nothing left and done. Man usually calls it nature. Nothing can exist without the Tao because everything depends on it. Tao is God and our soul issues from God as essence. We are God as children. 第二章，蛇魔是道。各位，今天已经得到究竟的的是蛇魔。蛇魔是道，道是天地人万物之母，道是宇宙之本源，创造者以及主宰者。道上帝，道至尊，至贵之神，当天地还未生之前。一切都未有之前，到一天存在的。当天地毁灭后，道不毁灭，道能再生天地人万物。天地人万物生成了，道其中主宰。道非常奥妙，道无形无相，视而不见，听而不闻，不可嗅，不可捉摸。道超出了人们的想象力而不思议，亦不可言说，一切皆是道所为。然而，我见不到道的动作，道是无为而为的。然一切莫不是道所为，人们常称它为自然。假若无道，任何一物不能存在。因为一切都依靠道而的存，道上帝，我们之灵性是上帝所赐，我们是上帝之儿女，上帝是我们之天。When we speak of the Creator of the universe, we call it Tao. When we speak of the Ruler of everything, we call it Natural Law. When we speak of the animating and controlling principle of our being, we call it soul or conscience. When we speak of the creator of our soul, we refer to the heavenly mother. In Chinese, she is called Lao Mu. All I let the above are one and the same. 当我们从它作为宇宙之本源而言。称它为道，在它作为一切之主宰而言，我们称它为理。当它在我们体内，使我们生存并支配肉体时，我们称它为灵性或良心，因为它赋予我们本性。我们称它为老。这些名称虽异而其义相同，皆指同一物而言。Now, what you have actually received is the Tao. Tao is everybody as true self. Today you have been initiated by the teacher and the door of your mind has been opened. Now you are able to understand that the body is not your true self. The body is controlled by the Tao within you. Now you are able to understand that the body is not your true self. The body is controlled by the Tao within you. Now you are able to understand that the body is not your 而灵性才是真正的你，那位无形无相的。然而，在支配你的身体的灵性
才是真正的你自己。While you are alive, your soul dwells within your body. As soon as the soul leaves your body, you are dead. Your soul is from God, but your physical body is from your parents. You already had the Tao within you, yet did not realize it. Therefore, you have had to search for it and had now been fortunate enough to find a teacher who was able to transmit it to you. Previously, you believed that the physical body was your true self and behaved accordingly. You were selfish, committing misdeeds, acts of violence, and overindulging in physical pleasures. This condition repeatedly led you into a reincarnation and endless sufferings. Now you understand that your true self is not your physical body, but only use the body as a vehicle. You are not limited to this physical body. You are boundless. You are the master of the universe because you have God as essence within you. You are full of mercy and love because you share of God as spirit. Most people today have forgotten all these spiritual characteristics and do not know who they really are. Today, you are regaining your conscience, your true self. 每个人活时，灵性在他体内。若灵性已离开，他立刻就死亡。灵性附于天。而肉体由父母而来，因此，事实上，我们已有道在身上，为何还要再寻求它？还要有点传师来传授？原因是我们已不认识它了。我们以为肉体真我，而不知它原是假，因此，我们变得自私。做了许多错事与罪恶，为了持此色身，享受如此，使我们坠入轮回中，遭受无边痛苦。我们不知真正的我乃是灵性，而我们已不是仅限于此肉身。我们是无限的广大，我们是宇宙之主宰。因我们的灵性与老是一体，我们的本性充满了慈悲与爱心，因我们是老之分灵。然而，现在人们都失去了这些品性，亦不知他究竟是谁。今天，我们得到是的回真我，良心。Chapter Three. What are the three treasures today? You have received the three treasures. A. The heavenly portal. B. The divine mantra. C. The symbolic seal. A. The first treasure. The heavenly portal. The point where the teacher placed his finger upon your face during the ceremony is called the heavenly portal. It is the abode of your true self and can be described in different ways, such as one original nature. This is the true self, soul, or conscience, which is eternal and indestructible. Two, the portal of birth and death. The heavenly portal is the door by which our original nature enters and leaves our body. Confucius asked, "Who can leave the house without using the door? Why do people not follow this way?" Three, the way to heaven. A Buddhist sutra says, "Heaven is one hundred eight thousand miles away. 
These words are the metaphor which actually means that it was not easy to become enlightened because the true teacher was difficult to find and the Tao was not yet widely propagated. Without the proper understanding of the Tao, heaven seems very far away, but with a real understanding of the Tao, heaven is very near. Today your teacher has plonked out the way for you and you may now ascend to heaven with one step. 第三章可谓三宝经天你们所得之至宝一可称为三宝一玄关二口诀三合同一第一宝玄关玄关玄妙莫测之门 玄观点传师向你们指点之处，它有许多名称，一点本性此是我本来固有的真我灵性良心，它是不毁不灭的，它永远存在。二点生死之门户，玄观是灵性出入身体之门户，孔子曰：“谁能出不有？” 和莫游思道也三点通天大路佛经云西天十万八千里此事譬语一成佛是不义之事因为名师难访大道还未普传然而名师经已指点明明路你一步登天the main entrance the heavenly portal is the main entrance. It is situated at the center and not to the left or right, above or below. This entrance was locked after your imperishable spirit entered the body at birth. If the heavenly portal is not unlocked by your teacher, your true self is not able to leave the body by the main entrance at the time of death. Instead, it will have to leave by one of the side gates A. The eyes, B. The ears, C. The mouth, D. The nose, E. The navel, F. The vertex if your spirit leaves from the ears it is reborn as a viviparous animal, such as a horse, pig, cow, sheep, etc. The eyes it is reborn as an oviparous bird. See mouth it is reborn as a creature of the water, such as a fish, a lobster, etc. The nose it is reborn as an insect, such as a fly, a moth, a bee etc. E navel it is reborn as an ordinary person. F vertex it is reborn as a wealthy and powerful person. 4. 正门玄观是正门 它正好位于当中不偏向左也不偏向右 不在上也不在下, 当灵性投入身体后, 假如我们不欲名师指开玄关临终时我们的灵性将无正门可出离身体它只能由其他旁门出去眼耳口鼻肚其顶门如果灵性走旁门一有耳而出者来生当为胎生之动物如麻猪牛羊之类二有眼而出者来生当为乱生之动物如飞鸟之类三有口而出者来生当为失生之动物如鱼虾之类四有鼻而出者来生当为化生之动物如苍蝇蜜蜂之类五有肚脐而出者来生当为平庸之人六有顶门而出者来生当为富贵之人
上述之路，乃生死轮回之路，不能脱出生死之苦。点传师，点开玄关正门，这是通天之路。我们不必再走四门，不必再坠入轮回受苦，但是我们必须要真修，否则玄关虽开。我们的灵性仍不能反天，因我们还是充满罪恶，灵性为罪恶所是不能自由从正门而出的。五点。In the Bible, Matthew 14:11, John said to his disciples, "I baptize you with water to show that you have repented." But that one who will come after me will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. The Tao is transmitted to you in the temple of God through God as sanction and commandment. The holy lamp on the altar symbolizes God. In the transmittal ritual. The teacher uses the incense to lead a line of fire from the holy lamp to your heavenly portal. Then, using his finger, he connects God as spirit with your spirit so that they flow together as one, thereby enlightening you with God as spirit. This is the actual fulfillment of John as prophecy. Five. 圣经上记载，约翰对他的门徒说：“我用水给你们施洗，表明你们已悔改。然而，在我之后的将用圣灵与火给你们施洗，请记忆，你们是在上帝的宫殿里得到，因为我们有上帝的天命。”那盏佛灯代表上帝老，在点道之仪式中，你们已见到点传师已相助，从佛灯引来一条经，指向你们的玄关，然后借点传师的手指点在你们的玄关之时。上帝以你的圣灵已点开了你们的心窍，照破了黑暗。现在你们可见到约翰之预言已经实现在你们身上。六点。Sakya Muni Buddha said, "I had the great Dharma which is hidden in the eyes. This indicates the location of the heavenly portal." 6. 释迦牟尼佛云：“无有正法，掩藏此语，暗示玄关之地。” Be the second treasure, the divine mantra. One, you have now been given the divine mantra. It is very important to remember it, as it will save your life. It is only to be used in extremely dangerous situations. This mantra acts as a powerful spiritual distress signal to the divine forces, much like an SOS transmitted by radio waves. It is to be projected mentally and silently with great concentration, while at the same time focusing the eyes on the heavenly portal and holding the symbolic seal with the hands. Powerful aid will immediately be sent to you in order to rescue you from danger. If you sincerely cultivate yourself. You will always remain under the refuge of Buddha. 二第二宝口诀：听经或五字真经，一刚才传授口诀给你们，还记得吗？请再说一遍。当性命危险时，你才用此宝，将真经默念口中，手抱合同。你将可被天佛救护，脱离危险。
不过要注意此后觉竟能于性命为及支持方和运用。假若我们真诚修道，当然我们将受天国之地有。二点 ，the divine mantra which connects your true self with God. This mantra is without form, sound or color, and is the essence of Tao, the underlying and ultimate principle of the universe. This mantra unites your being with that of the Tao, forming a powerful bond. Every great religion indicates this potential unity, but they do not fully understand how to implement and effect it. You now have this knowledge and are familiar with its application. 二心经，口传心授由声音而达入无声音我之真心，由天经万。点而达入真经真点，心经心法真空也，真我本性也。三点 ，The true teaching is transmitted from mind to mind. The true self, the I, the spirit, the mind all indicate the true center of man or his real essence and original indestructible nature, which is identical with Tao. The human being is a microcosm, sharing all the attributes of the macrocosm. Since he is essentially divine, man only needs to understand the nature of reality and align himself with it. The more pure and refined his nature, the more conscious he becomes of his relationship with the Tao. When he realizes that he is one with the Tao, he has become fully enlightened. 三以心传心，口传心，手以老之心传于众生之真心。此者老的分灵之心也。C. The third treasure, the symbolic seal one. In Chinese, Fa means to combine and Tun means all together. The symbolic seal, which is formed by the two hands joined together, is the golden seal, which is formed by the two hands joined together, is the golden seal, which unites us with God. It is like a contract or mutual agreement, which is the actual meaning of hatun between you and your heavenly mother. It acts as a signal, password. Or passport. It is a spiritual instrument of identification, as well as symbol with many ramifications. Two. When you hold the symbolic seal, you are united with God. Three. The left hand is good, so it is placed on the outside, covering the right hand. The right hand is often used for evil purposes, such as beating and killing. The right hand is placed on the inside because of its evil propensities and is shielded by the left hand. Together, the hands hold the word "child," which is formed by the two thumbs in proximity, symbolizing the Chinese word "hai," which means "child." This hand symbol acts as a direct signal to God. It serves to mobilize heavenly protection and causes the user to escape from any impending calamity. Four. Let us quote some words from the Bible, Matthew 19:13 to 15. Some people brought children to Jesus for him to place his hands on and to pray for them, but the disciples scolded the people. Jesus said, "Let the children come to me and do not stop them." 
because the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. He placed his hands on them and then went away. This event illustrates the power and significance of the symbolic seal. At that time Jesus placed his hands on the children's heads and explained that this is the way to God's kingdom. Today we hold the child symbol and realize that we are the children of God and are willing to return to God's presence. 三比三宝和同一点和同之意和是和诚意体同是相同和同象征老赐与我们的经印表示我们以归根人我们守抱和同表示我们要与老和诚意体同老一样 是说与老和灵永不再分开。二点和和同，同同和抱起和同，能闭眼罗。三点左手数善当在外，右手数恶居内边。子亥平下怀中抱，能托酒大大节冠。四点现在。因为上帝的国是属于如此的人耶稣为他们按手祝福然后离开从这件事我们可以了解他是对和同之一种预言在那时耶稣把手按在孩子头上并说须如此方能返回天国如今我们守抱自海绝并觉悟我们是上帝的儿女且愿意回返上帝身边。Chapter 4 Why do the introducer and the sponsor take an oath at the altar before you receive the bow from your teacher? Two persons take an oath at the altar, one as your introducer and one as your sponsor. Without these two persons, the bow will not be transmitted to you. The introducer vouches for your character and guarantees your good conduct. The sponsor guarantees that the bow is the true path and that the teachings are genuine. A vow is also taken to guarantee that any money which you may donate to the temple will only be used for the printing of books and other such noble purposes. 第四章为什么银宝要立愿在点诗还未传到给你之前有两个人做你的银宝诗先立愿引保你求道否则点传师不可传道给你这两人保证你是好人并发誓他们是引你入正道并非左道旁门或邪教他们并非狂哄你的钱财否则他们愿受天雷诛你奉献的功德经是来见佛堂引善书任何人也不能把它用在私人用途上。Chapter 5 Why I should take an oath before receiving the Tao Before anyone receives the Tao, he has to take a vow which states that he will faithfully adhere to the principles of principles of Tao and will not reveal the secret teachings of the three treasures to anybody.
。第五章，为什么要力求道？愿每个人在为求道前，必须先立愿，表白他将诚心报道。即不泄露天机三宝给任何人。Chapter Six: How to save human beings. Now you have received the Tao, which is ineffable, sacred, and sublime. You have just been saved by someone, so now you should try your best to spread these exalted teachings to your fellow human beings and urge your family. Friends and acquaintances to receive the Tao. This is of great merit for you because you are not only saving someone else's physical body from disaster, but you are also saving his true self from the sufferings of reincarnation. Also, you not only save that one person because. If he cultivates himself properly, he can also save seven generations of his offspring by his virtue. How great is your merit! 第六章：如何救度众生？如今你已得了大道至宝，你已被人救度，你也应该去救度别人。所以，请你尽量的度你家人、亲戚、朋友，求道，让他们一得蒙上天之恩典，此乃你莫大之功德。因为你不仅救了他的灵性脱离轮回之苦，并且救他的色身脱离劫难，同时你不仅是救了一人。假若他真修，他将能以他的功德来超拔九玄七祖。你的功德何其大呀 ！Ndrbucdiolandudao.html， 先天大道简介中英对照 ，http colon slash slash www dot tau library dot com slash category slash category